and it's burning aces. Bought a new rollie, I'm changing faces. Give me my flowers while I'm here, I won't let them. I'm changing faces. Give me a second, I reappear. Let me show you something in the summertime. Make the drop top disappear. See in the crop top when the block got telecommer. Telekinesis, everything I own, we don't do leases. I'm gonna win, like the crushed nylon Nike fleeces. I gotta win, that mean ripping competition to pieces. I never die, that mean I would never know what deceased is. Immortal, live forever, never dying, forever trying, above ground, forever flying, never landing. You need help, you grab my hand and just fly, spread your wings and fly. Live forever, never dying, forever trying, above ground, forever flying, never landing. You need help, grab my hand and fly. Spread your wings far as you can and just fly. Fly. Grab my hand and just fly. Fly. Maybe I'm underrated, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm legendary, if only it running my block. Number one draft pick, they watching me shooting my shots. You witnessing thug passion, you think I just ran in the pot. I do this for me, I do this for you and every other kid on the block. We're in the place they call the United Center. In Chicago, the home of the Bull, where today we'll be broadcasting live. 2K Sports is proud to present NBA Basketball. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan with Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. And DeRozan, a free agent this past offseason, took his time to find the right fit in terms of who he would sign with, ultimately choosing Chicago in a big victory for the Bulls. Levine deciding where to go with it. Just four to shoot. Tries again. The shot. No good. And Utah the other way now. Zach Levine. That's the third straight miss to first, start this game. Foul. And they're still looking first for their first pass. Foul. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for the Utah Jams. Here's Conley. Driving the lane. Conley. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Look, you're asking for trouble when you let Conley penetrate the side. You're playing with fire. Number three, Levine. And Bull stays with it. They were pretty tight to start this game. Started out with four straight misses. Maybe that one will get them going. On lane to the lane. Score of the basket is second of two attempts. Look, an excellent decision maker in the pick and roll. Conley is great at capitalizing in these situations. Back to DeRozan. Unloads from 13. And his third shot of the night. No good. Over three. No one near Conley as he lets it go. Off the mark there with the three point shot. Pass to Vucevic. But Trey Gobert pulls it in. Here's Mitchell. And then Mitchell with the dunk. And how about the recognition by Gobert? I mean, of course, it does help when you're seven feet like Rudy. It can give you a clean view of the court. Now here's Levine. On the wing, Levine. Here's Vucevic. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And that's the seven-foot difference for Vucevic. Tough defense, contact. It doesn't do enough to throw off his ability to make that shot. Mike Conley. Conley gets the bucket. Bulls trail by four. Here's DeRozan. There's the drive. And finished off by DeRozan. What an excellent distributor Zoe is. I mean, he has a knack for getting it to his open teammates. Here's Mitchell. Offensive rebound. Gobert can't hit. Outside, Levine. Bulls moving the ball around. Let's it go with a three. Good, and it's DeRozan picking up the assist. 
We've seen the evolution of Zach Levine as a three-point shooter. He's gained confidence behind the arc. He makes an impact from the long range. Castro O'Neal. Back to Mitchell. And the foul called by Donovan Mitchell. That's his first foul. The whole great defense there anticipated the play and got there first. Coming on to the floor for your ball. And Vucevic has got the ball here for the ball. Levine. Count it. His second make in four attempts. Oh, Levine is such an explosive player. He's able to fight through the contact and get it to go. Pass to Mitchell. Looking to end the run. And he drops in the way up off the glass. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Ball with it. Back to Levine. Beyond the arc. Gobert pulls it in. Here's Mitchell. Can't cash in from close range. Man, you don't see this fella blow many layups. Not against D like that, anyway. Levine up top. And Levine throws it down. Levine in the 2015 dunk contest. You'll see this man is very comfortable playing above the rim. Now here's Conley. He's got six. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And after a down season in 2020 with some questioning if he was over the hill, Greg Mike Conley came roaring back last season. And the first player ever to make his all-star debut that far into his career. It had to feel something like redemption. And I tell you, he's not done yet. Has a nice new contract to prove it. Well, his free throw shooting is something they never need to worry about. He doesn't even know how to go through a cold streak. Here's Levine. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Levine's got nine. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Outside Conley. And there's the drive. It's stolen by Vucevic. And even three-on-three three break. Bobs it up for Levine. It falls for his fifth field goal of the night. Shooting five for eight. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Here's Conley. Rebounded by Vucevic. And here are the Bulls now. They're on a 15-6 run. Levine for three. three that ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. Some players might wear down when this kind of run. He's on the pitch. Here's Gobert. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. That's his second person. And if he gets looks that cleanly, Gobert becomes unstoppable. He makes good use of his body and just wills himself to a foul. At the line for two. And the first timeout of the game called for Chicago. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Now, that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to see what they go with here. First free throw is good. An improved free throw shooter compared to his earlier seasons. Nice to see Gobert attack his weakness. The Bulls leading by six. Pass to DeRozan. Shot clock at six. Count that one. 
Rosen's got his second basket. Always blessed with a great shot selection. DeRozan really good at taking what he sees out there on the floor. Now here's DeRozan. And the dunk by DeRozan. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. They decided to pound the ball inside, using their physicality to set the tone. Pulls up on the wing. Rebounded by the Jazz. Oh, he did everything right there except hit the shot. Jazz ball. Here's Oni. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Clarkson. Jordan Clarkson. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. This is why you like the size in the backcourt. If you can get it. I mean, Clarkson able to take the hit and complete the play. Here's Caruso. And it's Green. Missing. You can't miss those, but even the best Jordan do on Clarkson. occasion. The thing about Clarkson, he really plays with an edge, especially once he gets it up inside. Two minutes remaining in the first. Now, Two here's minutes. DeRozan. Six points for him. Nice move. Jazz foul. Over Ingle. Joe Ingle. And he's fouled pretty hard on That's that shot, first. but he's got first the chance foul. to pick up the points at the line. Team foul. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. They've been effectively aggressive here in the first half. Driving to the hoop with authority and getting a lot of their points right at the rim. Clarkson outside. Pass to Oni. Right side to Rosen. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Rosen's got 10 points in the game. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. And the slam dunk by Johnson. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Oh, man, they built a monster lead here early on. And a lot of this is due to the game plan. Here's Gabe. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Caruso looking for an opening. There's 42 seconds left to play in the first quarter. This quarter expending tremendous energy at the offensive end. And he's not slowing down. He's still calling for it. Clarkson. Clarkson. Makes it off the glass. Six points for him. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Really, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. And the Bulls have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And the Jazz making a change here. There's a four second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Here's Whiteside. And it's Bradley with the rebound. And DeRozan. Here we go. Yes, that goes in. And the Bulls lead by 13. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Going for the juggler right off the bat. I mean, jumping out to an impressive early lead. Tony Bradley. Their play on both ends has been superb. We'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Yeah, they got to be careful. It's still early. They've expended a lot of energy, but they've also built a nice... And so it's Chicago. Looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. And we'll be back with you shortly. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And the Bulls guys have been rolling right along, haven't they? 
Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Yeah, it's a gambling style that pays off keeping things in disarray for that offense. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, the league remains in love with three-pointers, but DeMar DeRozan remains true to his game. He says, if I see 100 people walking left, that doesn't mean I'm going to do the same. I see this clear path and want to stay right. Shooting threes, I feel like I'm settling. Whereas I think anytime I drive, I'm going to score or get fouled. Kevin, with the strokes, with different folks. Yeah, but D.A., I love that strategy. Thanks for that story. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. Caruso, no good. Jazz trailed by 17. From the Bengals. Bean with the rebound. And here's Levine who brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. And competition is at the root of all sports. Certainly sometimes, you know, things get chippy. And as a player, like, how do you handle that aspect when emotions and physicality get going? Kevin, you're always taught to control your emotions, but easier said than done. And in reality, sometimes you have to man up. You have to let it be known that you're not going to accept things. And at the same time, you got to be smart. So the goal is to beat the other team not literally. Here's Gay. The Jazz with another miss. The Bulls leading by 19. Pass to Levine. No one near him. It's good. That takes him to 77% shooting this game. 10 for 13. They have ridden him today, and it has paid off in a big way. Here's Ingles. He's guarded by Williams. Trying to end the drought. White side, good. White side. Oh, you can't the teach sides. White side with the strong defense. Levine, wide open. Come on, come on. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Levine. Chicago making a switch here for your ball. Jazz trailed by 19. Here's Clarkson. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. He doesn't play around. If the buck is there for him, he's going to get it. Again, Levine missing. Now that's one of the few times they'll get away with leaving him that wide open. Shoot from the right block. And it's Bradley with the rebound. Chicago leading by 17. Launches a three. three. And Zach Levine gets the three. Levine. Levine's got 25 points in the game. Now every team needs those energy players, Chris, who set the tone defensively. And Alex Caruso is definitely in that mold. Absolutely. He's disruptive, gets a lot of steals, and he's athletic. He needs some highlights, too. Six the three-pointer. Three Oni's got five points so far. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Let's talk about the great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. He's not using his head this quarter. He's got to get back to finding how to send shots. Never afraid of being flashy with the ball. Levine has a knack for making the defense more foolish. To the inside. Right side. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And they've repeatedly pulled inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. And from day one, there was no doubt about Hassan Whiteside's ability to impact the game with his defense. Yeah, he's one of a handful of guys who can rack up a triple double. Injections is one of the stats. I mean, 
He makes guys think twice about driving the lane when he's on the court. But here's Whiteside. Here's Clarkson. And he uses the glass on the way. Clarkson's got four points in the quarter. As hot as he's been, it, it still has to be him who leads the charge and helps turn this game around. Levine with it. And it's Gay with the rebound. Johnson over to help. Clarkson outside. Right wing. Here's Oni. Sinks the triple. He's got eight. Excellent setup by Clarkson. I mean, hits his teammate where he could do something with it. Pass to Caruso. That's good. And it's Levine with the assist. And the Bulls lead by 17. But the D didn't do a good enough job on him. He could be an ace when he gets a good look at three. Now Clarkson. Angles. That's for two. And it's off the back rim. No good. Now look, even if he had other places to go with the ball, that's a good shot. You, you can't blame him for letting that one fly. Levine way outside. Can't connect from long distance. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Let's the free fly. Jones. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. To the paint. Here's Whiteside. That's it, and that's his fourth basket of the night. He's taken seven shots, a solid 57%. He's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Here's Oni. It's good for his fourth bucket of the night. He's shooting four of eight. And that's just an, taking advantage of some soft defense on that Jazz drive. Little resistance for him on the way to the basket. Coming onto the floor for the Jazz. And here is Conley. Eight points for him. Gobert trying to Mike get open. Conley. Conley gets the bucket. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. It's good. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. You have to go to your best Donovan scores. Mitchell. I mean, it's a smart strategy. And so far, it's paying off. Mike Conley. And how about the strength from Mitchell? Looking tough and determined on that aggressive take inside. Outside DeRozan. Six to shoot. The eight footer. He can't get that one. The Jazz go the other way with it. For three, Mitchell. Vucevic with the rebound. Remaining in the first half. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Back to Green. Here's Vucevic. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. And got to do more than that to stop Vucevic. So adept at fending off those types of challenges. Conley's shot is off. And we haven't seen them get to the line as much here in the second quarter. They might be settling a tad too much offensively. Full with a wide open look. Off target with his three. And we haven't seen them be quite as aggressive driving the basketball, settling far too much for jumpers. Now that's the grit and grind mentality of Conley. He excels at taking challenges head on. On the wing to Rosen. From 17 feet out. Doesn't go for him. And Utah the other way now. Mitchell looking it over. Driving in. 
Donovan and Mitchell. then Mitchell hit the dunk. And you got to clog up those lanes. Mitchell just explodes to the rim when he gets to that launching pad. Pass to DeRozan. And finished off by DeRozan. DeRozan. <laughs> he just powered that one down. One of the game's top dunkers. And here's Conley outside. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. And finished off by DeRozan. And you want to talk about high volume scores. Just look at what DeRozan's doing tonight. He's been on a mission putting his mark on this game in a big way. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Outside green. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Okay, Green. Green's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. A dominating first half of basketball. And so far, hasn't been close. It's the Bulls. They lead by 18. We'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball.